Hi, I'm Age Graceful. Thank you so much for selecting my channel to watch today. For all my old subscribers, mm, sending you love and hugs. And then for the new subscribers, even bigger hugs. Because this look is for Valentine's Day. We're using the Pantone color of the year, Viva Magenta, to create our looks for Beauty Over 40. If you want to see what I create, I want you to keep watching. After you watch my video, please watch the ladies that you saw before I came on. Their channel links will be in my description box. I'm sure they created the most beautiful Viva Magenta look for Valentine's Day. And you'll probably pick up a cue or two for a look that you might want to do. Hey, I made that rhyme. Okay, continue to watch to see my look. Okay, let's grab some products. I have my basket here. And um, I'm going to use my uh, Fenty Blurring Foundation. This is in shade number 17, the Eavesdrop Blurring Skin Tint. But it's buildable to full coverage, but I think I'm just going to go kind of light with foundation today. I've been having some issues with my skin from too many holiday goodies, so I'm going to give it a chance to recover. This shade here is a little light for me, so I usually primarily use it in the winter time. Oh, so for a palette, let me just move my card over a little bit. And I believe it's in this second drawer. Yes, it is. I'm going to use this Glam Light palette. This is the cake palette. I think it's so sweet. A pink stove, the oven door, and the control buttons or knobs I should say but it has some very beautiful pink shades and I'm doing this one-handed so maybe if I bring it up here it'll work out a little bit better but let me just open the oven to reveal the shades and I've never used this and I've had it almost a year which is the reason that we're doing these uh, panning projects the Wakanda panning project presently so I think I'm going to use this palette. So let me close the drawer here. And I'm going to now add this to my basket. And we'll come along and push the basket. And since I'm using the Fenty tint, I'm going to use the Fenty setting powder. And this shade is called Honey add this to my basket and let's come up and get a primer and I'm going to use my Il Maquillage primer I don't have a Fenty primer I've heard some uh, great things about the Fenty primer but I don't have it so I'm going to use my Il Maquillage let's see I'm going to use a lip oil and I haven't used my Kadeem products in a while so this one out the way. I think I'll use this oil today. Herbs of Kadeem. They sent me on PR a set of uh, their oils. So I have one that's a cream in this jar and then a larger oil here. And then this one I use for my lips. So I'm going to use this one. Let's get this into my basket and we'll put this one away. And my lashes, I haven't decided yet. Let's push the basket down a little bit. I have some really full volume lashes by IMV uh, that I purchased um, quite some time ago, but haven't had a chance to use them. I'm really considering it today because this video, Lavinia wants us not only to focus on the Pantone color of the year, which is Viva Magenta, she wanted us also to uh, incorporate Valentine's Day. So those huge lashes are really flirty, but I'm going to reserve committing myself to those lashes at this point, and I'll revisit after I finish my look just to see what will actually fit. Um, I think that's it. Shopping's all done, and 
these are my basket items. So before I started, I did my eyebrows to save on time. I'm not even going to clean them up today. I sort of covered them up because it's time for me to make an appointment to go get them cleaned up professionally. I already have on moisturizer. Today I used the 111 Skin uh, Day Cream and Skin Moisturizer, which is a part of my Wakanda Panning Project 2023. It's one of the items that I selected. If you have not seen my panning project, then make sure you check out that video. Um, you'll be very interested in what we're doing. So moisturizer is already on and I've selected, of course, my primer. So I'm going to put some primer down on this palette here and that should be enough. I like using this palette. This is something new that I got myself from Amazon and it kind of saves on um, using wipes or getting things all over your clothes. So just gonna get this on and give it a chance to settle in into my pores before I add my product. And then I'm just gonna take what I have left and put it right on my lids. This primer is wonderful and anything that you use will adhere to it. So I have my cake palette by Glam Light and it has a mirror, so I don't wanna bling you. So I think I can turn it back, but I'm gonna go into the shade Raspberry. I think between that and Cranberry, I'll get what I'm looking for. So I'll just start with a little bit of this raspberry shade and I just barely tap it and look how much pigment is already there on my brush to begin with. So let's see what we can do with this. I'm going to start here in my inner corner. Wow. And bring that into my crease. This eyeshadow is pigmented. Now that I have the shade on, I'm just going to blend this down. To blend this down, I'm using my crease brush from Laura. You guys remember these fancy brushes with the bling that I got for Christmas, I believe. Christmas or my birthday, I treated myself to these brushes. I believe they were round 20 bucks, which is not bad on Amazon. Now I'm going to take a little bit of this shade here called Red Velvet, and I'm going to put that on the outer third. I was going to use the cranberry, but there, um, the shades are too close, I believe. So I just want a little bit of this red velvet here. On the outer third. I'm using this really fine pencil brush, and this is also from Laura, but it just doesn't have any stones on it. It's kind of too small to add stones. There is not a soft pink shade in this palette, so I'm just blending this out up to my brow bone very lightly just to get a little color there. So I'm just pulling up what's on my crease. Get a makeup wipe and just kind of clean up my inner corner a little bit where I don't want shadow. Now I'm going to go back into the palette. There was a really pretty, and I'm just wondering, and I think I will just in case. I'm just going to use a small amount of glitter glue. And the glitter glue that I'm using is by NYX. So I'm just going to put some here. Because I don't want a lot. I just want to make my lid kind of tacky. So 
so while that glitter glue kind of sets up, well, you know what? It's probably already set because I just put on the tap. So I'm going to do just a small swipe into this glitter here at the top. It says strawberry. I'm going to put a little bit of that on my lid space just with my finger. Just rub it in there. That's the strawberry. Ooh wee. Do you guys see that? I am so glad that I selected this palette because I figured if I didn't hit magenta in one way, I would hit it in another. And that's one of the main reasons for the Pantone color wheel is so that huge corporations and businesses, people that make, make textiles, fabrics, clothing, they will have a... Uh, chart that they can look at so that the color Viva Magenta is the same across the entire spectrum. And I think I'm liking what I have here, so I better leave it alone. I think that this is a very pretty look for Valentine's Day and also to celebrate our second anniversary. We got married two years. It will be two years the day before Valentine's Day, which is also uh, my dad's birthday. We got married on his birthday to honor him. So can you guys believe it that it's been almost two years? What do you think? Think Mr. G will like this? <laughs> so that's it for my lids. Um, let's go ahead and get this foundation on and today i'm going to be minimalistic about it you guys won't see this video until after i share <laughs> what i learned um at the danessa Mirix university um i'm going to be presenting that sunday so you will have seen most of you will have seen that so i'm gonna be really minimalistic this shade i'm just going to put right in the same spots that I would normally put my um, concealer. Object of the game is, is to only let, well, let your body lead you in applying your foundation. So I'm going with the lightest shade on my face which is in these zones here, more like your T-zone. And instead of contouring, you let your outer region of your face and how, how your neckline goes down here, that's all deeper. That's your natural contour or bronzer. And of course you can add more to highlight, but I just wanna make this just a sexy light look letting my own skin tone guide me and this is like perfect for um, those who don't like to apply a lot of makeup so if you didn't catch um, the Sunday skin where I talked about what I learned at the Danessa Mirix University be sure to catch that I'm hoping, uh, because I'm filming now, I'm hoping that there'll be uh, some questions from the ladies that I can kind of answer. Other than that, I will just primarily share what I learned. I'm gonna use my brush and just blend this down. I'm gonna use my Fenty setting powder in the shade honey and now I'm just going to first set every place that I put the foundation and there's still quite a 
bit of powder. So I'll go over my trash can and then I'll go over the remainder of my face. And I'm using the Glow by Revolution Beauty. Now I'm going to go back into the palette and I'm going to pick up some more of the red velvet shade. Maybe I should put my eyeliner first. So I'm using Avon Glimmer Sticks eyeliner and I'm going to be placing this on my waterline and this is in the shade black. And now I'll go back into the palette and I'm going to get a little bit more of this shade red velvet and I'm going to go under the waterline and I'm just going to tie that to the outer V area so now it's time for lashes and I'm going to rock the duo glue this is the quick set glue let me do a black eyeliner with the e.l.f. liquid liner. The lashes I'm going to be using today are called Vivid 3D by I Envy. But I got these from the beauty supply store for $3.99. You can see them a lot better here. It, you always should bend your lashes so that they'll go with your eye shape a little bit easier. Let's set this lash down. And I always wanna be really careful that I don't uh, place the lash too close to uh, my inner eye. There is nothing worse than a lash that is in your inner eye, bugging the mess out of you. And my outer side was a little teeny bit high. So that's a good reason to um, put liner down so that you don't go too far up with the lash. And it's on, I love Duo Quick Set. But I'm really loving um, the Kiss uh, Lash Glue Liner is what it's called. Okay, let me get my left one. And let me wrap it around my finger and bend it a little bit first. That is not bad. It's not a bad volume. And I like this lash because the lashes are not close together. And I don't feel like I have a sun visor on. The light filters through. Okay, that should be enough bending. You want to just kind of warm it up, just like with exercise. You do your warm up first before you go into the full exercise. So you want to warm up that lash band. And I have a lot of ladies saying, oh, Michelle, you put your lashes on so uh, quickly and so well. I can't do it. Yes, you can. There was a time I could not put lashes on. And the main reason I couldn't put them on is because I put them on before the glue got tacky. You must allow the adhesive to become tacky. That way the lash doesn't like slide all around your eye. I did. And it can get in your eye too. <laughs> so you wanna, you know, allow it to become tacky and this is a clear glue, but it dries. Um, it's white, but it dries clear. That's what I'm trying to say. A couple of more seconds on this one. And then I'll go to the lippy. And we'll be all done with this Viva Magenta look. I think I'm going to leave my hair kind of like on the wild, sexy side. Yeah, I think I will. Okay, has it been? 
I probably could have waited a second or two for this one for our anniversary. I think um, I'll probably recreate this entire look. My makeup wipe here and just wipe the corners of my mouth. And today I'm going to be using a lip color by Nika K. I've used it in the past. This is shade number 800. Okay, so this is the shade here. And that's it, guys. This is my look for the Pantone color of the year 2023 Viva Magenta. What do you guys think? I don't think it's so bad. I hope I fell into the right color story um, to present this look and I cannot wait to see what the other ladies create. Thank you so very much for watching my video today. Make sure that you stay in touch and stay tuned for future content. You all take care. See you soon. Happy Valentine's Day. Bye.